period. <gasps> Ew. We get it, Katie. You're a style icon of the century. Girl, stop. I am not in the mood today. I look so... Take me to brunch. Hi. <laughs> no. Hey, besties. Okay, so for today's video, I have been in Seoul now for a little over a month. And I really have tried to hold back. I've tried to restrain myself on buying too much because a lot of times whenever I'd come here in the past, I'd be here for like two weeks and I'd come back with a whole new suitcase of clothing. But today I thought I would give you guys a little haul of everything I've already gotten. Um, mom, don't watch this for your heart safety. I'm talking directly to you. I don't know how I'm getting them back either. Pretty much just thinking we're gonna cross that bridge when we get there. Also, I figured you were all tired of seeing my apartment because I was just gonna do like a cute little You know, we did just film a whole video in my apartment last week and I'm kind of tired of editing just this, so. Today we're going to the studio. I say the studio like I have a studio, no. Literally, the company that manages me, they have like a little studio and so I'm just gonna go in there and be like. I also think I'm acting a little strange because yesterday I got Miss Red River miss mother nature i i got my period we don't need to sugarcoat it but it wasn't like i was just like sitting at home and she was like because i had to violently run home on a 20 minute bus ride it was a lot to go through anyways so if i'm a little different i'm different i'm so different because i feel kind of disgusting right now um but we're pushing through it i also got my nails done for life update part two look at this okay there's my thumb Anyways, can I do a cute transition into a top I bought just for an example? Just for like a little taste. Our little toes are being dipped in the water. Just like a little, for instance. <laughs> Obviously I've been obsessed with sweater vests lately. So this is a shirt I got in Home Day. It was at just one of like the little street shops. She's cute. She gives me, you know, schoolboy vibes. I wore this in one of my videos and I like her very much. Okay, I miss my old one, so let's go back. But yeah, I got this one at the Latte Young Plaza. It has little flowers on it, and um, it's cute. I love it. Oh, I'm tired, let's go. Hello, look at us. We're in like a cute little Korean restaurant. Okay, we're gonna go ahead and get to the clothes because that's what I know how to talk about. I'm like a little bit scared to change clothes in here because there's a door right there, but it's it's okay. I'm good at just, you know. Let it be known today, I've only had a chocolate bar, an iced coffee, and a chocolate chip cookie. So we're running on lots of sugar. Bear with me. You probably have seen this in my video that I posted when I went thrifting. Um, it's this white blazer and it has like this orange inside. And honestly, that's one of the main reasons I got it. But just wait. Cause she's like a cute, like sophisticated in the front. And then like a little party in the back. She has all these like English writings and stuff about like Illinois that don't make any sense at all. I did end up cutting the shoulder pads out of it. And I just looked like the lining of the shoulder. I would say, what do I look like? But I am going to a fashion school, so I should know what I'm talking about. But yeah, look at her. I don't know if you can read that, but vibes. 10 out of 10 for me. I mean, I bought it, so, you know, next item. Shall we? Come on, let's, let's go. Here's the next one. You guessed it. It's another jacket-like item. I got this at A-Land and I love it. It was a little bit expensive. So rip, but honestly worth it. This is something I'm gonna be able to wear for like forever. So it has all these really cute little teddy bears on it and they have pink heads. I don't understand it. It's probably some kind of art message. This thing is also massive because I can never buy anything my size. I like to think if I buy things three times my size, one day, whenever all the food I eat catches up to me, um, I'll still be able to fit in all my clothes. So we like to plan ahead in this house or in this studio today. I'm done explaining myself, okay. Goodbye. If you thought my life was glamorous, now you know. An icon in her element. I'm gonna break something. They left me in here alone. I'm gonna, they shouldn't have done that. Okay. Um, yes, I look like the blueberry girl from Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory, but it's kind of a vibe. Am I wrong? I got this at Rolla Rolla. It's actually one of my favorite brands here in Korea because they do very cute like preppy clothes and we stand. Because this thing is so massive, a lot of times I'll tuck it into my pants like a little French tuck. My favorite thing about um, Korean clothing and Korean designs. They always have really interesting English going on on the front. I can't ever explain. It's very edgy, angsty, 
Tumblr teen vibes. And you know what? That's okay. We can revisit that sometimes. Okay, next item. Bye. Okay, and we are back. You can't get the full picture. Okay, that was weird. We're reaching some hard territory here with a plain white skirt because of the situation I mentioned previously in the video. But I actually got this sweater and this skirt here. I got this pencil, pencil? Girl, we are not in the office. I got this pleated white skirt in Hongdae and it was just in like one of the little shopping streets, same as my sweater from earlier. As for the sweater, I got this actually yesterday at Zara and that's when I got the idea to film this video because I was like, I have a shopping addiction, which is nothing new to me, but I should make a video about it at least. But anything with like a quirky, <laughs> A quirky because I'm so quirky and it had a collar so it just checked all the boxes for me the collar is like massive also oh wait there's buttons right here hey guys cute I look like my mom no shade to you love you mama but the sweater is very you at least I know being a theater kid was useful for something because now I can do quick changes in like less than 30 seconds <laughs> so so this t-shirt right here I actually thrifted in Hongdae as well as if you saw my video about thrifting, link in description. It won't be in the description, it's literally on my channel. Just go look at it. So it's just a plain black t-shirt, obviously. And then in this denim, it says Dior on it, which I thought was so cute, I don't know. I love a good graphic tee. So yes, I got this one. I think it was from a place called Cacao Vintage or Coco Vintage. It was like Coco Vintage or something like that in Hongdae. Kind of do one of those like cool like TikTok transitions where they're like, did it work? I don't. So this is the last shirt that I bought that's like kind of like a t-shirt because like I said, it's getting like actually really cold here. So this one I also got in Garus, Garu, Garusugil, near Shinsa, Garusugil area. I don't know what my thing is for cherries, but maybe it's the Harry Styles rubbing off on me. But anyways, it's just this like knitted t-shirt, but I really like the detail on the shoulders and then the graphic design itself. Rocheri. Wait a minute, hold on. The shirt says red cherry. Am I, am, am I stupid? Okay, don't answer that. Anyways, back to the video. I'm gonna leave that to the professionals. I love pairing this with the pleated skirt, obviously, but I also love pairing it with just like skinny jeans or anything that I can kind of like tuck it in and it can like cinch my rectangular waist in a little bit because I'm a girl that likes to create an illusion. Okay, I mean, what else is there to say about this, really? Can you imagine if I do all of this? Oh, you can, that was a little close. So this is an outfit. Um, if you follow literally anything, I've worn this all the time. I absolutely love this shirt. I got this at A-Land also. And I had been looking for a shirt like this that looked very like pieced together because I see all these like small designers that I really want to support, but they're usually really expensive. I'm usually very G with my outfits, let's say. And this one's a little bit more PG-13. We're a little bit more adult in this. And then I love doing like a little shirt, big pants combo with this outfit, but they're a very like low rise. I find that I can't really wear like high waisted things with this because then like the flap gets in the way and it's just not cute. So yeah, it's also from a brand called Oh Ho Ah. Ooh ah, I am so stupid. Don't look, my eyes are up here. Okay. If even one of y'all makes a joke about me looking like Christopher Columbus, founding father, someone from Phantom of the Opera, I'm deleting the channel. It's gone. I realize I look like a straight up colonizer, but hear me out, I'm not. This shirt and the pants are probably two of my favorite things I've gotten so far. I mean, obviously I love everything and I say that about everything, but like they just are so bold. And <laughs> people would be like, ow, I would never have the confidence to wear something like that, so. Good for you. And that's kind of where my style falls at this point. Let's be real. Also these pants I got here, I did mention these in a video also, um, but I got these in Hongdae at a thrift shop. You know, who would have guessed? They are black and white New York City, like pop art prints on the front. And then on the back, it's a party. And I wonder why people stare at me. The shirt I got also in Garasugil. I hope you guys are realizing I have a pattern to wherever I shop. Do I look like I should be in a powdered wig? Sure, sure. I also have this really long like decorative flap in the front and I don't know, it looks cool. And then the pants, if you haven't seen my other video, um, these, I don't think you can see that, but it does have a vintage Versace tag on the front. And then it also has tags on the inside saying it's Versace. I. Couldn't tell you, honestly, haven't done the research yet, but regardless, I like them. So even if I'm a fraud, you know what? I'm a 
fraud that also looks like Beethoven. So it's, can you really argue with that? So yes, I hope you guys enjoyed that video. I try to keep it really short, simple, and sweet um, for this week. And I also thought I would start throwing in a little bit more fashion at you guys because obviously that's like my favorite thing to film. And I've missed filming fashion videos. So let me know if you'd like to see more of those. Also make sure to check out my Instagram because I post all these outfits like all the time. Um, probably one of the reasons I keep buying more clothes. So I have more outfits to take Instagram pictures in, which is not a healthy mindset. Don't, don't do that. But yes, always remember, be kind, stay safe, wash your hands, register to vote before it's too late. And I will see you guys in the next video. See you later, besties. Bye.